If you are in desperate need of a breakthrough, one of the best people in the Bible to study is Jabez. In 1 Chronicles, we find a man with whom many of us can identify. He is a man with a pitiful past and no hope for the future. Plain and simply put, he is a forgotten man and a loser. He is a man who struggles to find meaning and significance in life. But more importantly, he is a desperate man. In other words, he is sick and tired of being sick and tired. And in his desperation, he makes a prayer of breakthrough that still affects the lives of people over 3,000 years later. 1 Chronicles 4 verses 9 to 10 Now Jabez was more honorable than his brothers, and his mother called his name Jabez, saying, Because I bore him in pain. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that you would bless me indeed, and enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me, and that you would keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. So God granted him what he requested. His mother had named him Jabez, which means, I gave birth to him in pain. In Hebrew, the equivalent for Jabez means, he causes pain. We don't know the pain Jabez's mother went through, maybe physical pain or emotional pain. We don't know, but Jabez was not born at a good time or did not cause a good thing. Many people have been given names because of the things that happened to them. Some people are called failures, some people are called poor, some people are called weak, some are called horrific names. What names has society branded you with? What name are you being called with? Are people calling you a loser? Are they calling you a failure? Jabez was called Sorrow from birth. This name did not leave him. It was not just nominal. It became reality in his life. Nothing good ever happened to him. He just had bad break after bad break. And he was a man who was desperate for a breakthrough. Jabez understood the reason for his problems. He could have kept silent and kept trying to work hard to make things better for himself, the way people do these days. They sideline God and expect their own powers or abilities to carry them out of the evil names people are calling them and out of their difficult situations. Jabez didn't do that. Jabez prayed to God. Jabez asked God to bless him. There is nothing wrong with that. People may look at his prayer and say it is self-centered. He should have prayed for other people instead of saying, Oh, that you would bless me indeed. He placed his life and all he had in God's hands, demonstrating dependence on God. Jabez was filled with sorrow, but what happened in the end? He became great. Why can't you call on God today and also escape your pains? You should depend on God first because that's the way. I want to tell you that the pain is not the end of you. Don't allow the pain to dictate how you end your life, but dictate how the pain ends. God bless you. Sometimes our deepest pain leads to our greatest blessings. The truth is we all face situations where we don't see a way out. At one point or another in your life, you've been there. Where the odds are stacked against you. Where you've had the problem so long that you get accustomed to it. But I want to read the second half of Psalm 30 verse 5. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. The word says that weeping may endure for a night. It doesn't matter how hard things are for you right now. It doesn't matter what you're going through right now. Joy will come in the morning. I want you to know that your morning has come. It is time for you to experience the joy that the Lord has promised. We sometimes look too deep into our problems, so much so that we don't notice how blessings can come from them. The thing we don't know is that many problems or hard times we go through 
always have blessings hidden in them. What I want us to know and have in our minds is that when the storm comes or when problems do start, we must learn to focus on God who can make our days bright. I don't know the challenges you are facing right now. I don't know what you are going through in your business, job, family, career, and every other area of your life, but one thing I do know is that joy is coming, blessings are coming, laughter is coming, success is coming. Just focus on God. Look at the life of Joseph. His brothers almost killed him because they did not like his dreams. They sold him into slavery. A young boy in slavery, it's not something that will make anyone happy. What we should have expected Joseph to do is give up on God and his dreams. Joseph could have decided to sleep with Potiphar's wife and then forget about the dreams, but he stayed focused. Joseph was thrown into prison for a sin that he did not commit. If Joseph can move from being a prisoner to becoming a ruler, I don't see why your weeping cannot turn into joy. I don't see why your tears will not turn into laughter. I don't see why your pains should not turn into blessings. God will make a way for you. He has done it before and he will continue to do it. He has not changed and he will never change. Stop glorifying your problems. Stop making your problems feel like they are bigger than God. Stop making your problems feel like they are the ones controlling you. Stop empowering your problems. We must know that we have the power to control ourselves and if we control ourselves not to dwell on our problems too much, we will always come out triumphantly. God told Joshua not to be afraid and that is because fear can make the problems swallow you. Fear can make you lose all you have in life. Joshua 1 verse 9 says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. This is a command from God. God was not begging Joshua to be strong and courageous. God wasn't advising Joshua to be strong. He was commanding him to be courageous. I want to say to you today that you must be courageous in the midst of the pain, because for sure, joy is coming. If God says he will do something, you should never doubt him. He has said that it doesn't matter what you go through, he will always be with you. Isaiah 43 verse 2 When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Sometimes our deepest pain leads to our greatest blessings. This reminds me of an article of a particular man and his success. He always had a plan to go into computer programming, but he was working in a company and he hardly had time for himself or his family. He loved programming and always found a way to learn about this. He did not know how much it would benefit him then, but he just loved it. Where he was working, he was earning above average wages. One day, the company was forced to let him go because they were going bankrupt. This man did not know what to do. He was afraid because of his debts. He could not pay his rent, and he was going through a lot. He was completely heartbroken because he had given so many years of his life to this company. He decided to sell most of the things he has and use the money to buy a computer. This even caused a lot of friction in his marriage. He started practicing how to program. He learned it and mastered it well. He made his first program and decided to sell it. A company saw it and they loved it. That landed him a huge deal. This man became wealthy overnight. If he was not stopped at work, he never would have had the chance to fulfill his dreams. His deepest pain led him to his greatest blessings. There are a lot of people with similar stories. They discovered themselves only after they were sacked. Many of these people would have had it in their minds that it's over for them, but they looked at the blessings and took advantage of them. Have you lost your job? Is your business collapsing? Are your friends leaving you? I want you to focus on the blessings attached and not the problems. Maybe for you it is a relationship that's gone bad and the other person has left you. God could be opening a door for a blessing in your life. 
I know there's no way that the problems will still not be noticeable, but I need you to understand that you will not solve the problem by glorifying the problem. You will only solve the problem by using your hands to clear them apart to see a clearer future. You may have big obstacles in your path. You may be in a deep valley in your life and you don't see how anything good can come from this situation. I love the illustration of the eagle in the storm. Whenever there is a storm, the eagle will never run. The eagle can see a storm from afar. The eagle also knows there would be a storm. When the storm comes, the eagle will fly into it and use it to gain a new height. Other birds focused on the pain that the storm will bring. They focused on the problem, but the eagle focused on the blessing. The eagle focused on the opportunity to gain a new height. I want you to start seeing that pain as something that will lead to blessing. It doesn't matter what you have gone through or what you are going through right now. The blessings of God are right there for you. God is ever ready to bless you abundantly. The devil doesn't want you to see the blessing and that is why he is bringing the pains, but God has the ultimate plans for you. Don't allow the devil to shift your focus. Don't allow the world to shift your focus. Don't allow fear to shift your focus. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Listen to the word of God. Hear him tell you about his plans for you. They are good plans and nothing can stop these plans. Not even the pain you are experiencing can stop the plans of God. Look at God instead. Have faith and look at the author and finisher of your faith, Jesus. Don't allow these pains to swallow you up. Don't be beaten down by any circumstance. Keep going and soar higher. You need to keep going too. It doesn't matter who you are, never stop moving. It will be a problem if you stop moving forward in life and you allow the pains of yesterday or the pains of today to block your progress. You will always regret it if you refuse to keep moving now. How many times do we have to say it now that God is right by your side? He will never leave you. God is there for you. He is the one that will make everything work as planned. Why are you giving up on God because of the pains that will not last? Why are you losing faith in God because of the pains that will not last? God wants you to see beyond the pain. He wants to show you the greatness only if you can see beyond the pains. Some people have gone through what is more painful than your experience and they made it and they got blessings. You can make it too. Don't give up on your life. You're not too old. Your life is not over. Look at the life of Jabez. No one will ever pray for the kind of life that Jabez had. 